Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. In our previous video, I have discussed about many civil civil engineering basic uh, tools or topics, and in this video, I am going to discuss about lapping zone and lapping length in columns. So, as a civil engineer, you know that this is very important topic for us. So, in this video, I will show you that uh, what is the lapping length. I mean, um, what what should the lapping length? and where we should provide lapping length and where we shouldn't use lapping length so let's start and if you're new here you can watch our previous video that already i have uploaded and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so let's start so first of all how much lapping length is provided in columns so if you see that lapping length should not be less than 75 millimeter so is it clear to you that we cannot provide lapping length minimum 75 millimeter I mean less than minimum 75 millimeter so we have to provide minimum lapping length of 75 millimeter and lapping should be avoid in tension zone of construction member okay lapping should be avoid in tension zone of construction member I mean where you are using lapping zone it shouldn't be placed on tension zone of that comp con uh, concrete members and in case of column generally we take 24d to 40d where d is the dia of bar ok 24d to 40d where d is the dia of bar I mean we have to use the lapping length the minimum lapping length will be 24d I mean uh, 24 times of used bar diameter to uh, 40 times of used bar diameter now the next point is important point should be remembered for column lap length important point should be remembered for column lap length I mean where we will use column lap length I mean lapping and where we will not use that so the first point is lapping should be provided at the center of column because bending moment at midpoint is zero so try to lap at midpoint I mean when we'll uh, use lapping in column so we have to focus on the center of the column okay at the center of the column because bending moment at the midpoint is zero so try to lap at midpoint then lapping of bar should be provided alternately lapping of bar should be provided alternately lap should not given at same point because buckling may occurs I mean when we will use lapping then we do not use will not use lapping at same level ok uh, when we will use buck, uh, lapping in same level then buckling can be occur and lateral ties should be provided closely spaced in lapping zone I mean when we'll use lapping in a column then we have to use the lateral ties very closely so that it can reduce the tendency of buckling so after that due to maximum stress we cannot lap at columns beam or slab joint okay due to maximum stress we cannot lap at column beam and slab joint so lapping should not be given at L4 distance from top and bottom of the slab ok so for slab when we will construct for column and we will not use uh, I mean uh, near the column when we will construct the slab so we have to maintain minimum distance of on fourth of total length ok so if we see in that figure so from uh, suppose this is the level of beam column joint and this is also the level of beam column joint so we have to maintain the distance of L by 4 distance from uh, beam column joint so that we can avoid the buckling and our lapping zone is uh, known as the from uh, that point to that point I mean uh, actually our lapping zone is half of column 
but uh, by releasing the one fourth of total length and one fourth of total length of two joint place okay so top place top joint place and bottom joint place so thank you for watching and this is that is for today and if you think that that is helpful for you just press the like button and don't forget to share that video with your engineer friend or your anywhere you like to share that and don't forget to subscribe our channel if you think that that is helpful for you so s12 stay connected till next video thank you thank you very much